We all know the story of Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, a classic story since 1964, adapted into tons of movies thus far, more recently in the upcoming Wonka title releasing in just a few days. <laughs> This kind of story is a little bit different than the rest as it tells Wonka's side of the story in terms of where he came from and where he was before opening his factory. Background action! Aspiring magician, inventor, and chocolatier, Willy Wonka arrives by boat in an unnamed European city to fulfill his dream of opening his chocolate shop at the Galleries Gourmet. He decided to stay at a laundromat owned by the devious Scrubbit and her henchman, Bleacher. Three, two, one, action! This movie was like a breath of fresh air with a story that's outside the bounds of Roald Dahl's original material. I thought it was magical. Before we get into more of these moments, today's trivia question, what was the first actor to portray Willy Wonka on the big screen? Leave your guesses in the comments down below and stick around to the end of the video to find out if your answer was correct. I'm really grateful to get to be playing this role and get to be part of this story. This is going to be the best chocolate shop the world has ever seen. This is a joyous movie. This is about bringing a light into a world that is in desperate need of it. With all the previous adaptions of this fictional character, it was Timothy Chalamet's turn to play this very special role. Not only did we see him betray a different version of this character, but getting to hear from the actor himself about how he felt first reading the script. But that, that, that washed away as soon as I read the script because I went, oh, this is, this is genuinely very clever. Also, that, everything has to do with the, the director, you know. That, that's not some cheesy interview bite. That's, uh, if the director is, like, really in it, even the way, um, you know, could this be taken out of context? I don't think so. Like, when Christopher Nolan did the Batman movies, those were really ingenious and he made them his. More interestingly, we get to see how he got the role and what he called the role of a lifetime. A tone and a character I never thought I would get to be in. This film's really the companion piece to the Gene Wilder 71 film. You know, uh, some of the musical numbers from that film are in this one. This is a different story, this is the origin. Because it's a story of a young Willie, an ambitious Willie, sort of a naive Willie who's full of hopes and dreams. As we know the story to be a sea of candy everywhere, a couple of the cast members revealed that the candy and chocolate was actually real. Both of it was real. Both of it was real. Really? Yeah, we ate chocolate. I mean, I ate a lot of chocolate because I was doing like take after take after take. <laughs> but um, probably more <laughs> but um, we also swim in chocolate. Like that was real water. chocolate. It was real chocolate. That was real chocolate. No yeah. way. First time we shot it, it was like, in fact, the director said to me, Paul, he said, you know, you should like taste some of it towards the end of, like, towards the, end of the shot. And then, when oh, I did, yeah. and, he, and then somebody from behind the camera was like, no. During beginning production stages, before they found their Willy Wonka, Ryan Gosling and Ezra Miller were in talks to play the role, alongside Tom Holland. The project hails from Harry Potter producer David Heyman and screenwriter Simon Rich. I really wanted this movie to be able to sit as a companion piece to the original movie. I know how much it means to people because it means a lot to me too. Paul's doing a really exciting reinvention of Willie's origin stories. Wonka producer David Heyman opened up about the upcoming prequel movie, which will explore the origins of the eccentric chocolatier. Heyman said that he was inspired by the script and the vision by director Paul King, who previously worked with him on the Paddington films. Real quick, make sure you guys check out our Instagram page linked down in the description. There's a ton of interview moments and memes, so make sure you check it out and give us a follow.
From the trailer alone, it doesn't look like a regular old story of how Wonka and his chocolate factory came to be. There's the use of wire work and a sprinkle of magic with all the balloons during the times when he supposedly lifts up in the sky by them, and of course, talking to that Oompa Loompa, Hugh Grant. Shot in London, this film takes us back to the beginning of what it was like for Wonka to have this huge dream and want to share it with the world. It's a beautiful touch on what we know of him today. Wonka, premiering in theaters on December 15th, 2023, goes in depth into the origin stories of the chocolate maestro for the first time. The movie, which will also have a musical aspect, is set to chronicle Willy Wonka's fantastical journey across the world before he established his chocolate factory. We've gotten a peek at Chalamet's new uniform as Willy Wonka, which is envisioned by costume designer Lindy Hemming and includes a velvet burgundy jacket, a silk necktie, and the character's iconic brown top hat. This is what I get offered these days, I, and, and I, <laughs> I, uh, I'm in the freak show phase of my career. I do baddies, psychopaths, weirdos, uh, perverts, and now Oompa Loompas. <laughs> I threw that in. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, what, what was that? <laughs> I've just been offered the part of an orangutan as well. Pulling a concept that everybody knows and loves, Willy Wonka being able to show off his prized possession to children and adults alike. Wonka put a new twist on the classic fairy tale with going back before what the world knew him as. You put this helmet on, it's yeah, got sort yeah, of yeah. 16 oh. cameras all over it that are sticking into you. And up on a screen, there there's no a sort of- sticking into you. It's a sort of computer nerd <laughs> sitting up to the side of the room. <laughs> he ignored it, he ignored that comment. <laughs> a lot of the acting I did with you was on a, was a stick mm -hmm. with a tennis ball. Well, it was a very complicated process, us trying to work together. Director Paul King chimes in on the conversation on the story behind this movie and the importance of it. It's also because Simon, my co-writer, is a really good comic form as well. So when we're doing the script and we read it back and forth to each other all the time, and it's quite weird because you, sometimes I have like the way he's delivered it that I've gotten used to over like a year. Ah. And it's some, there's occasionally ne never with any of you who are all marvelous. And as far as the answer to our trivia question, of the three people that have portrayed Willy Wonka, it was Gene Wilder who got the privilege to play him for the first time. Paul is Paddington. It's so true. He's just wonderfully joyful and optimistic and childlike. And I mean that in the most complimentary way. But we wanted to turn this around to you guys. What did you think about all these behind the scenes moments? And who do you think played Wonka the best? Let us know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Make sure you're subscribed with notifications on for more videos just like this. That's it for today though. We'll see you all next time with a brand new video. Bye guys. I'm assuming this is not part of the show that's going to be broadcast. I'll I tell you the truth. Um, to be honest, I didn't like him. And um, <laughs> none of us did. There's that, I don't know what it is. There's something just weird about that whole French Timothy Chalamet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Je suis Francais. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's actually... Do you like me? No, for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. <laughs> for sure, for sure. <laughs>